What's happening guys, it's B-Rad and welcome to another episode on the Graft to a Draft series today. Now what we're going to be doing to achieve the 15,000 coins is on the account we're going to be looking at the 81s to 82s. So if I just show you here on my phone, I've got the screenshots of about five pages of players through the Footbin app um, that are basically in the region of sort of 5,000 coins to around about 11,000 coins. Uh, now any of the ones that are obviously special cards at the moment I won't be bothering to do because obviously no one's going to be packing them at the moment and as always I am recording this episode just after midday so not a lot of packs are being opened anyway. But if you go on the screen now you see we've got 1.25 million so we're looking at 1.265 after we finish this in order to be able to go and get into the draft and like I say I'll be looking at 81s and 82 rated players. What you will see in this video is obviously if I do get some really decent snipes that I will talk through, then I will show them on the screen. If not, we will then just go into the transfer list afterwards and you will see how I've made the profit. Obviously, I've got two players selling on it at the moment, which is a Chiellini and a Harrock. If they don't actually sell, then obviously it won't be a problem. But if they do, I will make sure I work out what the 15,000 coins were after these two players sell. But without any further delay, I'm going to get into the sniping and we will come back when we've got the 15,000 coins or a player worth showing you. Okay, so after just doing some quick maths to find out whether I had reached the point of 15,000 coins, I have done so. So you'll see we're at 1.247 million, so that's 3,000 under what we started. However, I've got three cards selling at the end here. That's Colorado for 5,000. Tomato for 7,000 and Ribri for 7,800. I've done the maths, it should mean after tax that would be 18,800 coins, which if you can add up well would put us on 1.265, which means we are 15,000 coins up and able to go and enter into our draft. So let's go and redeem those 15,000 coins. And not the greatest of formations to start. Um, 4 3 2 1 or 4 4 1 1. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the 4 4 1 1. I quite like the holding forward. So let's go with our captain. Terrible picks for captain. I'm going to go ahead and pick Hazard because he's only really got his uh, striker card um, for birthday which I probably wouldn't use anyway, but I'm going to go and pick him because he's probably got the most links. So let's go at the striker position now. Oh, okay, we've got striker Martial there or striker future stars Dembele. I'm probably, there's not a lot of difference between these two, but again, because of the links, I'm going to choose striker Martial. I'll we'll go down to the centre forward, see if I can find him a link. And we've got centre forward, prime icon moments, Baggio, or prime icon moments, Sanchez. Four star weak foot, or five star skill moves, four star weak foot. We're taking Baggio. Now onto the right mid. We've got our first summer heat player, Mkhitaryan. Unfortunately, nation wise and everything, he doesn't link. But we might bring him on as a super sub, so let's pop him in there anyway. Right centre mid position, we've got Pogba, so that's a uh, perfect link to Martial, so we'll move Martial into that centre forward role, gives him full chemistry. And we've got Tielemans as well, I quite like that card, that's not too bad, and he links up to Hazard. Let's now look at our left back, non-rare goal picks there, we'll take that Nacho, he is from La Liga. We've got Van Dijk. Left centre back. Nathan Ake is tempting, although that team of the season, Upamencano, does link to Pogba. Yeah, I'm going for Upamencano. We could do with a Spanish, uh, no, French at this right back, but we've got Hector Bellerin. Unfortunately, I didn't pick him. Uh, we've got Luis in goal that links to both our centre backs, so that's not too bad at all. Let's go on to our uh, onto our defenders and see who we can get to fill out the rest of that bench. So we have got Marcelo who would give us full chemistry there at left back. We'll get him to link up to Hazard. So that's now our left back on full chem. We've also got Robinson who would uh, 
give Van Dijk full chemistry, so I'll potentially get him. I'd rather have my centre backs on full chem than my wingers. Midfielders now. Oswello, Orsic, I think we're going to bring Orsic there for the super sub, why not? 99 pace. We've got Bernard there, screen Bernard in the left mid, there weren't any other decent picks there either. Oh, we've got Garincha for the right hand side, so he'll replace Mkhitaryan there. We just need a right back really. No one really there as an extra goalkeeper will take, so we'll just go for the highest rating. So we really need a right back, preferably someone that would give Upamankano more chemistry, or we just need a centre back to uh, replace Upamankano there from the Premier League. Um, we have got that shapeshifter Mendy there, that could possibly work on that left hand side. Nothing there. Let's just try and put Mendy in at the left back move this around a little bit see what happens when we put Marcelo in there that does give us full chemistry Ufa Mencamo's on seven and uh, our white backs on six not ideal but the team looks better next reserve pick is a silver unfortunately so we'll just go and take anyone there last two picks Got 96 Messi, so that's a good substitution again. And final pick, we have got prime icon moments, Carlos Alberto. Perfect for the right back position there. So now really we just need a Premier League manager just to give them two centre backs some more chemistry, but that's not a bad looking side. Let's go and get the manager. Anyone from the Premier League will do. Old Stevie Bruce. Let's go and take Steve Bruce, lovely. It puts us on eight chemistry is those two centre backs, everyone else on full chemistry, it's not too bad at all I've had better teams in draft but it looks pretty good, let's go and see if we can get into our first game ok so here we go into the first game, we are against the prime icon moments Rude Hullet, prime icon moments Ronaldinho, prime icon moments Rio Ferdinand ah ok this is going to be tough We've, uh, we're going to make the sub on that left hand side, bring uh, or sit straight on for Hazard. Other than that, I'm just going to see how the midfielders play out before I bring on someone like Messi. Okay, so we're clean through Mendy there, but it's a great save by the keeper. We're now going to go and make our substitutions. I'm going to put Baggio into that centre forward role. I'm going to take Hazard off for Orsic. And I'm going to use um, Pogba as our strength player in the midfield to win the ball back and bring Messi on for Mendy. We'll go with that for now and see how we get on. Oh, what to say about that? I don't actually even know what's happened there. I thought Marcelo had gotten to Ronaldinho. It's then gone into my keeper's hands and apparently the keeper hasn't managed to hold on to it and his Messi has just walked the ball into the goal. So we find ourselves 1-0 down. So we go into half time, unfortunately that really rubbish goal where uh, Lloris hasn't held on to the ball is actually what is costing us at the moment. This guy is pretty good, he has had most of the game. Um, but my players can't seem to get the ball out of their feet quick enough. We'll move on to the second half. And there we go, we get through for a goal with Baggio. I have really struggled to break down this team. The prime icon moments, Rio Ferdinand is incredible and he keeps intercepting, he keeps blocking every chance I get. But we find some space there finally. Get through with Roberto Baggio. Smashes it into the far left hand corner. We are one all. It's a 73rd minute, I feel like this game could go all the way. And after we just said that it would probably go all the way, we go and get our second goal. It is 2-1. 
Corner comes in from Van Dyke, headers it straight into the bar, comes down to Messi's foot and he taps it in. Little bit of a rubbish goal, but considering the guy's first goal, I think it's just deserved, really. And there we go, I see he committed his goalkeeper out towards the wing there. We get it back to the Summit Heat Mkhitaryan who we brought on at left centre mid. And he has scored from about 35 yards into the top corner because the keeper's off his line. It's a lovely strike. I wonder if he was in goal whether he'd have uh, saved it anyway. And there we go, we see the victory out at 3-1. Really thought that was going to be a tough game, so the guy was pretty good. However, other than the really lucky goal, he didn't really have that many decent chances. And we go and score two in quick succession. He sort of loses his call, cool, commits his goalkeeper for that third goal. We managed to get a third, and then it was pretty much plain sailing from there. So let's go and get into the second round and see how well we can do. Okay, so here we are into the second round. We are up against the prime icon moments, Sanchez and Garincha. Uh, he's then got a couple of sort of average players really, Dominguez, Luis Felipe, Lucas Leiva. None of them I'm particularly too worried about. Yeah, he's got a three back formation as well, which hopefully we can exploit with our wingers. Let's get into the second round and see if we can win. Oh, and we're straight onto the edge of the box with Mkhitaryan. And man, has this guy got a shot. Left foot this time, straight into the far right hand corner. Just took a pop shot there, didn't think much of it, but he has absolutely smashed that into the top right hand corner. And this guy, I can tell you, is doing some skill moves I ain't ever seen in this game before. And I was a little bit worried we were going to get absolutely smashed, but we are 1 0 up. Let's carry on. And there we go again. He's made another mistake, he's brought his keeper out. We've managed to intercept the ball, passed it over to Mkhitaryan and very similar to the last one, we've finessed it from outside the edge of the box into the top right hand corner. 2-0 up, he's paused and he's gone. We are into the semi-final. So we're into the semi-final and we're against a pretty nice looking team if I'm honest there. We've got Hierro Prime Moments, SEM Prime Moments, but he has got the Summer Heat Baldi. Uh, with Jonathan and Neymar up front as well. So yeah, it looks like a fairly decent team, fairly good formation, but we've had some good players so far and we've managed to come through. I'm gonna go and make those subs again straight away and I didn't show you, I don't think, in the last clip. What I'm doing is I'm moving Badger into the centre forward role, taking Martial off for Messi, putting Orsic on at left mid for Hazard, and then I'm bringing Mkhitaryan on in that left centre mid for Mendy. That is how we're starting the game. Let's see if we can go and get ourselves into a draft final. And there we go, straight on the counter attack. We are through. It looks like as well, it's that scorer again, potentially. Yes, it is Henrik Mkhitaryan from the midfield. This guy has been absolutely incredible from left centre mid. Always in the right position. And as soon as we cut that one back, he has just cut that nicely into the right-hand side of the goal. And he's gone at 1-0 up. I can't believe it. The guy's gone. We're into the final. 35 minutes into the game, and actually he had probably just as many attempts on goal as we did. But we are into our draft final. Let's go and see if we can get a victory. So here we go, draft final. And already I can see there's several prime icon moments as this loads up. Yeah, we are against Garincha, Best, SEN, Hierro, Alberto. He's then got Team of the Season, Zaha, Kovacic, Wambasaka, Smalling, 95, De Bruyne. This is some draft. Um, I was not quite as fortunate to get that sort of a draft. And it looks like as well, potentially, he might even have Henri on the bench uh, based on that decal. So we're going to make the substitutions again. The team, as we've been having it, I think it's been working really well. So we put Orsic again at that left mid for Hazard. Mkhitaryan has been the absolute saviour there. That summer heat card from centre mid has been incredible. All subs made. Let's go and get into the draft final.
And there we go, straight through before the subs have even come on. We are through with Baggio, slips it under the goalkeeper, 1-0 up in three minutes. Now I'm just going to pass the ball around the back for 87 minutes. No, I'm not really, but that is a good goal. Slides it underneath the keeper. Substitution's now coming on, so Mkhitaryan's coming on. Let's see if we can keep this up. And unfortunately, we have conceded there. Uh, De Bruyne is through. Larissa has saved it, but in true EA FIFA style, the rebound is coming straight out to De Bruyne for him to just tap it in. We are one all. And almost instantly, we are 2 1 down. Um, for some reason we just couldn't get the ball off him there. Zaha's got through. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, Larice is probably one of the worst goalkeepers I've had in this game. And Pogba's been costing us in midfield with not having enough pace um, to sort of just turn around and send the ball forward. And once again. Corner's come out, we've headed it out, it's landed at De Bruyne, De Bruyne's hit it at the defenders, it's rebounded back out to De Bruyne, and he's hit it again and it's gone in. Rebounds are too much of a thing on FIFA this year. As we're 3-1 down in the final. It's a shame that, before we were doing quite well, but we've had two horrible rebound goals there. Um, He's been destroying us down the right-hand side with Garincha. Marcelo's normal card is just not good enough to keep up with him. But we managed him to keep it at bay fairly well. We need to now try and see if we can get two goals back at least. There we go, we straight through again, 4-1 down. De Bruyne again seems to be um, getting in better positions here. I'm not sure whether he's moved him into a striker position. We do get one back there, 4-2. Lovely pass out to Orsic, cuts it inside to Mkhitaryan. 66 minutes, we are 4-2 down. We need a good couple of chances here to get it back. And there we go, we make a really good run down that left-hand side of Orsic. We ball roll the keeper. It gets cleared off the line, but comes straight out to Messi, who puts it away. 4-3 now in the 85th minute. We need to get one more goal back to try and see if we can take this for extra time. And unfortunately there, we're not able to get an equaliser because he's basically passed it to his midfield, passed it around his back defence, passed it to his midfield, passed it to his back defence from the 85th minute all the way until the full-time whistle. I get it, I was coming back, so you know what? If he does need to win that badly to do that and not play the game, that's absolutely fine. I'd rather someone that wants to win that much wins. Uh, so let's go and get into seeing what rewards we've got for losing in the final. So we've got a gold players pack and a premium gold players pack there. 
all these packs that I've got here I am keeping. We're going to be doing a foot eliminator on the party bag um, SBC. Uh, so whoever we get from that will be the episode on the foot eliminator that'll be coming out this week as well at the moment i don't have a collab for that so it'll probably be a solo episode again but i am in contact with some people to try and see if we can get a collab so let's open the gold players pack it's a non-board but we do know that any 81s or 82s are worth money at the moment yeah we've got an 81 jacker there now he's not worth a lot of money though, he's only one of the one of the low rated ones, 2,000 coins there, so not a lot for him. We'll just quick sell those items at the end and go and open the premium gold players pack, see if we can get anything out of here. We've got something, it is just a board, a Spanish board, CDM, is that Xavi Martinez? The guy, one of the guys I pack more than any other player in this uh, in this game. 84 rated though, they're worth a bit of coins at the moment. I would imagine he probably goes for around about six or seven thousand coins. Yeah, so he's even more than that at the moment. Eight and a half thousand coins there, so not too bad. Um, but I think probably even after everyone has sold there, we may well have just maybe broken even on the draft. Uh, as you can see, we were at two point one point two five three, so we actually were. 3,000 coins over um, what we um, what we needed to be when we were doing the trading. That is assuming obviously that the Chiellini hasn't sold. So I'll just go over to the transfer market and check that out just so you guys can see that it is all genuine. So there's all the 82s and yet as you see Chiellini at the end has not sold. So that was all the players that we did trade to get the coins on that to enter the draft. So unfortunately we got to the draft final, we did start to make it back, the guy passed it around just to finish the game with his defence to stop me from trying to get another goal. It is what it is, it's, it's July, you know, I'd rather just be playing the game for enjoyment rather than doing things like that, but everybody is different. That has been an episode on the draft to a draft. All the links down below will have the uh, links to all my other series. So the link to the playlist for the Trade to Glory and the Graph to a Draft are down there. The link to my last Foot Eliminator, the link to my last Pack and Guess as well. Uh, as always, please do drop a like and comment on the video. Please do subscribe. The more subscribers we get, the more chance I've got in bringing you some decent collaborations and better content. I'm doing my best now to try and get as many videos out as I possibly can during the week. But I've been B-Rad, thank you ever so much for tuning in.